Barrel Wise and I are in the Suburban here and we're here at the Israel Rally behind us. It's just 11 o'clock and Plastic Canada is already full. There must be 4,000 people here and I'm here with my great friend, great supporter of Israel, Ted Bird, Montreal radio legend. Ted, tell our listeners, tell our viewers, tell our readers why you decided to come out here today. Well, I've lived in Montreal for about 40 years now. It'll be 40 years next year. And I've made a lot of friends in the Jewish community over the years. And after October 7th, um, it occurred to me that my friends were frightened. You know, knowing what I know and having paid attention to history, anytime a collective of Jewish people, and especially in Montreal, which to my understanding was the third largest Holocaust survivor resettlement community after Israel and New York post-war, so I knew a lot of Holocaust survivors. I know there are still a few left. I knew a lot who are no longer with us. I know a lot of descendants of Holocaust survivors, people whose direct family were dragged into gas chambers or taken out into the woods and shot. And so when they feel a collective sense of unease and foreboding, that resonates with me. That has credibility. I want to make it clear, we will pursue those who perpetrated the October 7 massacre to the ends of the earth. We will either bring them to justice or bring justice to them. There has been never any doubt in my mind that Israel will emerge from this war victorious, that Hamas will be defeated, and that our hostages will come home and they will celebrate with us and the echoes of generations will be heard saying, Yam Hatzmut Samech Am Yisrael Chai. And there were always those who said we should wait. There were those who said with power, we can't be ethical. There were those who said we should wait for the Messiah. There were those who said we should wait for God. We made a mistake. God was waiting for us. Messiah was waiting for us. They said no more Jews, no more Israel. They said we'll kill Israel now. Today is the day we end the Jewish story. Today is the day we end it. And what did we say? We said today is not that day. Today we fight. Today we win. Today we choose hope. Today we choose victory. Today we secure the Jewish future. That day will never come when the story ends. The story goes on for all time. We have come home and will never leave again. Bring them home. Bring them home.